the main thing I like to do now, and it's very simple, but is to work for peace. I think war is the dumbest thing our species has ever done and continues to do. This never ending war on terror. The market for weaponry is like Eisenhower said, the military industrial complex is created through fear. You gotta be afraid enough of another country to wanna go invade it and kill people and also resources. And you can ask any everyday person around, really, do you think we'd be over there in the Middle East if it wasn't for the energy over there? But let me tell you one quick thing that sired me on the military as a kid. I was playing football and I had bipolar disorder. I got mad at the coach in junior college. I was doing good playing first team and everything. So I went and volunteered for the draft. You could do two years, this is 1955 came down to Charlotte and was inducted and then came to Fort Jackson. And I love the, the physical part of it, the calisthenics, the working out, because I was in shape and all, but the two things that wised me up about the military, and it's st still true today, was uh, number one, bayonet training. And we had our cadre, our trainers, had been over in hand-to-hand -hand combat in Korea, and it was tough over there. They'd, had post-traumatic stress disorder, but you couldn't say anything, it had to be nice. And, but anyway, bayonet training, they showed us how to put the bayonet on, and then each of us had to run as fast as we could, about 10 yards, and stick this dummy, the enemy, and holler, kill, kill, kill. And if you didn't run fast enough, holler loud enough, or stick the dummy hard enough, you had to do it over again. After we'd all done it a couple of times, he gathered us around the trainer, and said, young soldiers, I want you to remember this the rest of your life. It's what the Army's all about. It's kill or be killed. And I said, oh, shucks, man, I don't want to kill nobody and damn sure don't want to be killed. The other thing that wised me up about it was we did machine gun training out at, at Leesburg in Fort Jackson. And we shot the 50, 30 caliber machine gun first, and then the 50 caliber waiting on the trucks after we finished our training to take us back to the barracks at Fort Jackson. These guys sit there, these trainers, and just shooting up ammunition, not even looking at the targets hardly, just about three boxes. And gosh, I don't know how much it cost a bunch of money, and I asked the sergeant when they got through, I said, Sergeant, how come y'all shooting up all that, all that ammunition? I said, you're a taxpayer and I am too. I said, that's costing a lot of money, it's just wasting it. And he said, shut up, young soldier, it's the Army way. What's new? You know? People ask me, gosh, it's been about six months ago, when we were sending those million dollar missiles into Libya. Why are we doing that? And I said, cause me and you are paying for them. And we sell guns, I say we, we pay for them, to every country over there, to Israel, Saudi Arabia, and it, it, it's in the interest of people in the military industrial complex to have war. And you know, the war, the threat of war. I never will forget, as I was a kid growing up, everyday people would say, you know, the economy's now, we need a good war to get the economy going. And it's cyclical. <clears throat> the big 1%, you know, the, 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 the too big to fail crowd put us into this situation with these credit default swaps and phony money and everything else. And, uh, and, and it's just unbelievable how they do this stuff. And, they, and then when it crashes, cyclically as they say in capitalism, then they got to do a war to take the poor folks to keep them from doing a revolution or something.